I went down for an audition and I was very lucky and got cast in the very first play that I did with them, which was called The Death and Life of Sneaky Fitch. Uh, they used to do a Shakespeare in the summer uh, and before it there would often be, um, oh, an outdoor festival people would play musical instruments and we'd all stand around and, and greet people, sort of like a mini Ren Faire. They uh, uh, evolved from a theater only or almost all theater troupe to exploring music as a, uh, as a performance venue. And that very first folk festival uh, was held out in the pasture behind the, behind the barn that was the Palms uh, in July of 1981. Though that became what the Palms ultimately was, a folk, jazz, rock, blues venue that did a little of everything and actually did it quite well. The stage was about this high, so it was really intimate. The chairs were right up close to it. And, and it was as close as, as you and I are now. It was as close as, as you could be. It was within distance. You could always, wherever you were sitting, you could just reach out and, and touch the performer. Basically a great place to catch music. Yeah, because it's a jungle out here. There's a whole lot of wild <laughs> They're creeping, they're crawling. Mercury's falling, it's gonna be a long night. The Palms. It's one of my favorite places to play and has been for over 20 years. I, I, uh, and I know a lot of musicians feel the same as I do. And, uh, working with Dave Fleming and Linda McDonough before that, uh, it's just been a pleasure. It's, it's, I really treasure this place. It's a jungle out here. Well, here we are, just outside the Palms. And uh, that's the Palms, that's the front door right over there. And the notion that I'm gonna drive up here a year or two from now and maybe see just more houses, just like on the left or the right of this place right now, uh, doesn't sit too well with me, but uh, there's not much I can do about it. They didn't ask me. If they had, I'd say, hey, leave it just like it is.